What if a family member or a friend of yours was doing something that hurt other people or hurting himself? Would you do a family intervention? Would you confront your loved one, your friend? Would you confront this individual and try to straighten them out? Of course you would. You'd try, I guess. Most families try. You'd need somebody in an authoritative position, you know, a mother, a father, an older brother, an older sister. That would be helpful in a family intervention. But well, what if the person who's causing harm is the most powerful individual in the world? A child with the greatest army ever built at his command. What if he was doing harm? Who would be doing the intervention? Who would be strong enough to intervene? A country club drunk? I doubt it. No, if you're drinking at the country club, slapping good old boys on the back, well, you're probably not the man for a family intervention. You're probably not strong enough for a family intervention. Who would intervene if you were causing harm to other people? Yes, that's the question I pose today. What if you knew somebody and they were causing harm, or they're causing harm to themselves? An intervention would be the smartest thing to do. You'd have to try, wouldn't you? I think you'd have to try to do a, an intervention. But here's the, here's the rub. Here's the problem. If that child who's doing harm, if that child is in control of the strongest military ever created on the face of the earth, if that child who's in charge of trillions and trillions of dollars of nuclear bombs and tactical bombs, if he's the most powerful man in the world, who is strong enough to intervene? Who will actually sit him down and have a family intervention? That's the rub. That's the question I pose to you. Who is strong enough to sit this child down and say, Look, you are hurting people. You are hurting yourself. Well, I guess the job is definitely not for a country club drunk, that's for sure. <laughs>